You know that simple, clear bag of fluid you see in basically every hospital show? Well, it's actually the gateway to one of the most critical and complex balancing acts in all of modern medicine. Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on the unseen science of the IV drip and show you how it creates the stable foundation for some of medicine's greatest achievements. I mean, it seems so basic, doesn't it? It's just salt water, right? But the thing is, what's inside that bag, and more importantly, how it's used, is often the difference between a successful surgery and a major crisis. It's all about keeping this perfect, delicate balance inside the human body. And that balance, it all starts right here with this number. On average, about 60% of your body is just water. Think about that. You are, for all intents and purposes, a walking, talking, precisely calibrated ocean. And during a surgery, keeping that inner ocean stable is job number one. Okay, so if we're going to keep that inner ocean stable, we first have to understand what it's made of. And trust me, it's way more than just simple water. It's this incredibly complex, living chemical soup. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Look at where all that water actually is. A full two-thirds of it is inside your trillions of cells. That's what we call intracellular fluid. The other third is on the outside, kind of floating between the cells and in your bloodstream. And this separation, it is absolutely everything. So what makes this water so special? Well, it's these things, electrolytes. These are basically just salts and minerals like sodium and potassium that dissolve and create charged particles. They're the reason your nerves can fire and your muscles can contract. They literally create the electrical spark of life. And this gives you a perfect idea of that balance I was talking about. The body works nonstop to keep most of the sodium outside the cells and most of the potassium inside the cells. Keeping this gradient, this separation across every single cell membrane, is what allows your body to function. You mess with this, and you are in serious trouble. So, how in the world do medical teams prepare for something so complex? Well, it all starts with what you could call the pre-surgery blueprint. It's a plan to protect this delicate balance before the first incision is ever even made. The goal here is pretty straightforward. Figure out exactly how much fluid a person needs just to get through a normal day, you know, without any of the stress of surgery. This number becomes the baseline, the foundation that every other calculation is going to be built on. So how do they do it? Well, they use this really clever standard formula called the 4-2-1 rule. It looks kind of complicated, but it's a surprisingly simple way to get a very precise calculation of a patient's hourly fluid needs, all based on their weight. It's elegant, it's efficient, and it's used every single day in hospital.